Okay, so we've created some buttons on our website now that we've imported in from Photoshop. Now I'm going to go over some um, text. Now, what we have here is um, a box with, with some text in it. Um, and the way I'm going to do this is this title text um, is going to stay as an image. And later on, we're going to get rid of this in the image. So what we need to do here is, first of all, because we're working within a table, what we've got here is we've got an image that's inserted into the table. Now, because we want to write over the top, what we need to do is put this image, as opposed to being embedded into the table, we want it to show up as a background image instead. So the way I would do that is I highlight here um, the image name, and I'll just copy that, uh, shortcut control C on the PC, and then come back up to your design view, click in and delete that image. So now we've got a blank, a completely blank space there. Right, but you see the properties has, has changed now, um, and we now have an image of uh, we now have a, an option here of, of background. So I'm just going to paste back into there the image layout 06 GIF. Um, and I mean, you can do that by searching for it by clicking here or, or dragging over. Um, I'm just going to do that, hit the tab key. And now the image is back again. Um, but the difference is you can see this, this dotted line around now. Um, the reason for that is this is now a live cell. So we can start to type stuff into this cell um, over the top of the background image. So it's now a background image as opposed to an image put into there. Okay, the next step is, again, what I'd do is I would put in a div tag into that cell. Okay, and I'm going to give that div an ID of um, welcome text. And I'm just going to click OK there. Now, what that's done is that that's brought this div into this cell. Okay. So, what we need to do now is fill um, fill this cell in the correct way. So, if I click back into the cell itself, you can see that in the properties panel, I can def define how anything put into that cell is displayed. So vertically um, and horizontally, I want it to be left and I want it to start from the top of that cell. So just to make sure that div's in there. The next thing I do is I come over to my CSS window um, and I want to add a new style. Comes in pretty much automatically that I want to put in a new style for the div welcome text. Okay, and I'm going to do it in this document only, just to save time. Okay, now from my design in Photoshop, I know um, the fonts that I'm using and everything else, so I'm going to match that up. Um, I'm going to come in as Arial. My size is um, 10 pixels. Um, I can give it a normal style. I've got it as set as bold in there, so I'm going to set it bold here. Um, and then what I do is I come down to this setting here in the CSS, which is box. Now, as you can see, the text, whatever text I put in there, I actually want to start here um, over the top of what I've already got. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to do that by changing the padding or the margins. I think what we do here is we just add the, the, um, some margins. So I'll take the tick out of there and I'll just, it's just trial and error really. So I'm going to put 30 pixels in there and press apply. Okay, that's not far enough as you can see. It's come down to that point. Let's try 40 pixels. Still not enough. So we try. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with that, so 
I'll keep that at 48 pixels. On the left hand side, um, let's try again at 30. 30 is a little bit too far. Um, let's try 25. Okay, it's close ish. Uh, I'll just add 24 into there. Well, I'm quite happy with, with that. On the right hand side, um, I'm going to put in 50 pixels. Uh, as you can see, this box has come a little bit too far, so I'll make that a little bit smaller. Um, put in 45 pixels, maybe a little bit smaller again. Okay, so you get hopefully you get the idea now. Um, so what I've got now is a container over the top of that image, which we are going to put text in ourselves. The reason for this is there's no point bringing images in with text on because your search engines aren't going to recognize the text that way. So we like to put our text in over the top as you know as the website itself. So I've got a little button here that I can press just to bring in some long Ipsum text here. Um, I've got the, the standard text that's already in there. Um, so I'm just going to delete that out. Okay, so I've got some text over the top now, which is pretty, ma pretty much matching up. Um, I'll come back to my style and add some more properties. So the colour, obviously, we wish to be white. So I'll set the text colour as white. And also, I've got a text alignment as justify. So now we know that the text is there, it's the same size, it's going to come into the website um, and it, more, most importantly it's going to be read by the search engines and everything else in terms of relevance for your site. So that's how we go about inserting the text. The final stage of course is to come back to here um, into Photoshop and if we do um, say for web devices as we did before um, so I scrub that. What, what I want to do is hide this text here. Um, so the text itself is one of these. So now I've removed the text. I've left this welcome to our website. Again, that's that's really down to you. That could be any font you want and just still bring it in as an image. Um, so that's why I've left that there. I've hidden the text. Now if we go to File, Save, as web devices, we highlight the one that we want to export, press save, make sure we've got selected images only, press save again, it says do you want to override um, layout 06, of course we say yes, we now come back into Dreamweaver and you can see that the image with the text is now gone and it's been replaced by an image with the blank text and we've got our own text in there. Okay, so that's a good way to bring the text into the site um, and hopefully that's helped explain a little bit about CSS as well. Next, what we'll do is we'll go through some, um, some layout issues that you might find when you're creating your website.